Hey everybody, this is Perch. I'm going to go with, uh, this going to be a very clinical sounding uh, video. So we're going to try, we're going to try that. So uh, the viewer mail, very, very simple viewer mail. It says, uh, hey Perch, why do people hate Vita Ayala? Based on the way the comic skaters sound, based on the way the comic skaters sound, it seems like she is the devil. That's the entire mail. But for what it's worth, I've gotten similar emails around Vita in particular and people saying, you know, what, what gives there? Why, why does Vita generate so much frustration, so much anger, so much hatred among some corners of the comic you know, group of the fans? Why, what, what is it about Vita? And there was, uh, there was somebody who recently uh, asked me this uh, on the phone. And they followed up with, um, what is about Vita? Vita is not writing anything of any significance, which I thought was an interesting statement. It's, it's like, it basically, the argument was, there's nothing that Vita is on that, that terribly matters from a comic perspective. And I had to think about that one for a minute. I'm like, okay, Vita's on static. Vita was on New Mutants. Uh, Vita does short stories for some of the anthologies. And, and then Vita was on... Um, I, Vita and Nubia, like co-writing. And no matter what you think of Vita, you love Vita, you hate Vita, um, do those books really matter in the grand scheme of things? And, and by, by that, I mean, in theory, all comic books matter, sure. But do they matter to the Marvel or DC universe? The New Mutants. And, and by the way, let me throw this out there. If you're a publisher and you're putting out a comic... Everything matters. I mean, it should all matter. It, you don't you don't look at your line and say, well, you know, these comics are the ones I really care about, and these comics are the ones I don't give a shit about. Now, granted, you may have... I, I get it one direction. I get saying, these are our tentpole, our anchor comics. These are the ones we're really going to promote. This is our amazing Spider-Man. We're going to make sure that, you know, there's always some kind of premier creative team on that, which is generally true. If you look at, you know, again, whether you love, hate, love Dan Slott or hate Dan Slott or love hate Dan Slott, whatever that is, or, or Zeb Wells or whoever, if you look at the creators, the artists that go on those books, they tend to put the higher profile artists on those. In fact, there's been one of my um, uh, I don't know, observations about the comic company is Marvel will say they care about diversity and you know they're going to push these things, we got to do this stuff, but the top tier artists rarely seem to go on those books. You know, if you're doing a Wakanda book and you're doing, in theory, this is tying into Black Panther 2, so it's a big deal from your parent company, and it's checking the box of, you know, of diversity, where is the, uh, you know, where's where's the Alex Ross interiors? Where's the Art Adams cover? Where is, uh, where's the money that goes into this book? Hell, you know, uh, is who, who are your biggest writing writers? Is it, you know, where's Donny Cates or Jason Aaron or Al Ewing? Are they on these books? No, they're not. But regardless, I, I think I want to let that sink in for a moment because Vita is not on any books that are premier books for either publisher. Yet, if you, you know, if you, you hear the dislike, if you hear the people criticizing Vita, you would think that Marvel had just put Vita on its most important books that it was publishing. Uh, you would think that, that Marvel just handed Vita the reins to the X-Men and the Avengers simultaneously. But no, Vita has a bunch of kind of lower-end books. Books that, I mean, look, even if you put completely different talent on, wouldn't sell terribly different. I mean, what is the, like, okay, Vita doing a, uh, you know, co-writing a Nubia book. Is the Nubia book going to sell dramatically better if you put, you know, Jeff Johns on that book? I, I don't think it will. I don't think it will matter terribly. I think Nubia is going to sell what Nubia sells. And I say this from the standpoint of we saw Jeff Johns on Shazam and and uh, we've seen Scott Snyder. Uh, you know, we, we've seen big name creators at DC. Tom King you know, Tom King is one of their bigger names. Brian Michael Bendis. Those, you know, their names didn't sell a massive amount of books. Tom King is, you know, doing his titles. They're selling fine. Tom Taylor was on 
Superboy. It, it sold in the 30s to 40s. Nubia sold in the you know teens to 20s. So even if you put Tom Taylor in a top tier artist on Nubia, I think Superboy is going to be a bigger draw than Nubia from just a pure IP standpoint. So so I guess my point is, you know, it, it was an interesting observation. Why do people uh, get so frustrated about Vita? Vita's not on anything that matters. Okay. Further to that, and then we'll get into more of your mail, if you look at the solicitations for December, uh, Vita's on nothing. Uh, sorry, I take that back. I stand corrected. Vita is on one book that was written with Mariko Tamaki some time ago, Spider-Man Double Trouble, which is a you know book nobody cares about, does not sell well, and was written and put in the can some time ago. So does Vita have active work with Marvel? It's hard to say. Maybe not. So why do people dislike Vita? Well, again, being clinical about this, I think it comes down to kind of three things. And you can decide whether these are fair things or not fair things, but I think these are the three reasons that people often cite. Number one, the stories aren't very good. Meaning Vita puts out work and the quality of the story tends to be you know, not great. Uh, again, that may be subjective. But if I look at, like, say, oh, I don't know, uh, this New Mutants uh, 40th anniversary special that I talked about, uh, to me, that was, a, that was a profoundly bad comic. I mean, right down to, I mean, all parts of it were bad. The part that still sticks with me is maybe the worst is the hero rushing in to try and help uh, somebody who was getting raped, but then it turns out the person who was getting raped was able to handle the situation without Karma's help. And uh, so Karma winds up apologizing for to the rape victim or the attempted rape victim. Very it was just just bizarre, just just profoundly bizarre comedy. And I think bad writing. That's that's reason number one. Bad writing. Now reason number two is the um, it, it is the perception or reality again, depending on your point of view, that uh, Vita gets put on a lot of books. Just because of you know her their uh, sexuality, skin color, um, whatever, but actually doesn't deserve those books. Meaning, despite the fact that Vita has not turned in big sales, keeps getting more and more work. And there's a period of time back uh, like two years ago that Vita did seem to be put on a ton of books, and maybe more annoyingly, a lot of other creators were pushing Vita like. Vita was the most amazing creator in the, in the history of all comics. This is how people would talk like, and and I think it hit a zenith with um, I don't remember it was new. I don't remember it was New Mutants. What New Mutants? Uh, maybe Marauders. I think it was Marauders. And there's this issue in Ten of Swords where Storm went into Wakanda to steal a sword. Vita wrote that book, and people reacted to that comic. It was a single issue, uh, and it wasn't good. It wasn't awful. I've read much worse. I've definitely read much better. People were reacting to that comic like this was the definitive Storm story. Not just a good one. Not just, hey, I like this. But this is a Storm story you've been waiting 30 years to get. And that just over-the-top, clearly nonsensical praise drove people crazy. Um, and, and, I mean, it was, it was nonsense. Uh, I remember talking to a variety of people. Inside the other writers are like, can you believe this shit? And it wasn't even like they were saying that Vita's writing was bad. It's just, it was a one and done story of Storm showing up Wakanda, having dinner, and then steal, you know, getting the sword and leaving. It was not, I mean, it, it meant nothing. But people were praising, and Vita was retweeting that praise as if it was the finest comic in the history of all comics. It was ludicrous. And Vita was kind of very aggressively taking the bow, taking the applause, like all in. I, despite the fact that, I mean, just, just there have been lots of Storm stories, that one wouldn't be in my top 50%. But several, what, XIPT or whatever that, that, Several sites were hailing it as the best. So that was number number second reason, you know, unfairly gets work and overpraised for the work that they got. And then the third reason, third and final reason, 
is that Vita has been very aggressive on social media. Certainly blocking people, but more than that, like going going very uh, very aggressive uh, at you know going on offense against fans, against other creators in some cases, um, and 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 like often writing things that were just unnecessarily picking a fight. So you know nobody's talking about anything. Suddenly Vita chimes in with, uh, "Y'all racism is really showing." It's like, okay, where'd this come from? I mean, it is Twitter, so, you know, racism, all types of racism, including racism against white people. And yes, I understand the argument that, you know, white people can't be racist against. No, if you're judging somebody by the, their skin color and you're, uh, you know, you're making some assessments there, whatever the skin color is, that's racism. Black, brown, and white, whatever. I mean, if, if you're making a claim that people on Twitter are racist, you know, welcome to a day that ends with why. But again, it's stuff like that. Vita would post things that were just like, hey, everything's quiet here. Let me uh, tell you how much I hate some of you. And it just, it was, it was annoying. Even people who like Vita, legitimately like Vita, like Vita's work, support Vita, uh, I would get messages from them uh, on a regular basis going, I do not, uh, this, this stuff makes it hard to support Vita. That was the basic claim. Like this stuff, it, it makes people insane. I don't know why Vita does this. This is sabotaging Vita's own career. Those are kind of the three reasons. Now, for what it's worth, I think, uh, you know, getting, getting, you know, hating somebody you've never met for any of those reasons really uh, it seems, seems like a waste of time to me. And for what it's worth, I reached out to a bunch of people, um, a bunch of other YouTube creators, others, and said, hey, why do you hate Vita and why? That's maybe I'm wrong. Every single one said the same. And these are people who, on a regular basis, shit on Vita. Every single one had the same comment. I don't hate Vita. Every single one. Now, you'd be you'd be forgiven for assuming that based on comments like, trash writer writes biggest trash in all of comics, and, uh, you know, and, and that kind of... So, you, you know, it certainly sounds like somebody dislikes Vita a great deal. Uh, but regardless, everybody had that same comment. I'm betting in the comments this video, you'll see people say similar things. I don't hate Vita. I just think it's wrong that Vita gets work that, you know, unfairly. I, I think you'll see some of that. I think that's one of those, like, you know, you kind of shrug your shoulders and go, well, maybe, you know, maybe a little self-reflection. Maybe some of those comments, maybe some of those uh, very aggressive stuff with Vita um, maybe, you know, people ought to be a little bit more honest with themselves. It certainly sounds like you're over the top, over the top pissed at Vita, but you know, you, you can do what you like. Um, and you can feel however you want. But at the end of the day, uh, if you think Vita's work doesn't, isn't any good, the simple solution is don't buy it. That's, that's healthy. And no, this isn't a, if I don't like your politics, don't buy it. No, it's not like that. It's simply you know, don't let, you're spending your hard-earned cash, don't spend it on something you think is subpar, whoever the writer is. The second reason, in terms of Vita getting books, um, yeah, I, I think it is absolutely true that there was a period of time where people were falling all, I mean, Vita was, get, had like a dozen pitches that they were being asked to do. That's uh, absurd, given the track record, given everything else, and I'm sure a lot of those reasons were, it was this idea that Vita was a shiny new penny, and you know we want to be able to claim we're working with Vita. I, 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 for whatever reason, why does that happen in comics? The hell if I know, but I'm sure that's true. And and Vita had a lot of projects, but in 2022, you know October 2022, uh, the, that work seems to be drying up, or at least it, it's it's normalizing. You know Vita is not being put on a lot of projects anymore. There's some new product, like what Stephanie Williams is on the product. Like I, there's somebody new, you know, maybe Teeny Howard. I, there's, but this is kind of how the comics industry works. There's a period of time where Mags Visagio was on tons of projects. Now Mags is on zero projects. Feels like Vita's Mags 2.0 or, or, you know, before Mags, undoubtedly there were others. So, I mean, I think this happens and I think we've seen that arc and I think we're on the definite descent of that arc. Now, you know, for the third reason, you know, unnecessarily rude and just obnoxious on social media, I think, um, I think 
a lot of people out there, meaning you, the person listening to this. I, I find that what people get, it kind of, they, they get angry and then eventually they get blocked and then they're, they get frustrated being blocked. And my argument to you is if you see somebody acting like a lunatic, meaning a creator, if you see a creator acting like a lunatic, block them. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Don't, you know, don't wait for the blockchain to come around to you. Block them. Say, you know what? Not today, Satan. I'm not putting up with this shit today. If, if I'm, not, I'm not talking like trigger happy, and, and definitely there are people who have that. Vita being one of them. Vita will block people, you know, if they just breathe the wrong direction. There's somebody with very little tolerance for, for other, and, and absolutely somebody who buckets everybody in the same, you know, category way too often. An attribute, I might just slide on the table there, of, uh, you know, somebody who might be a little racist. But anyway, I think that, block that. Like, look, if you see somebody saying something and they sound like a crazy lunatic, you see somebody just saying, you know, I, y'all are racist and I hate all, like, you see somebody who's just posting that stuff, why, why keep, like, picture your home. Your door is wide open. Why let that person in your home? Shut that door. Preferably when they're on the other side of it. Shut the Seriously. If you see a creator acting like a lunatic, it is only a matter of time before that creator causes you additional grief, additional headache, additional stress. And eventually, if you care about these kinds of things, will block you. They'll get around to it. They'll block you. Why give them the satisfaction? Block first. If somebody's acting like a lunatic, and, and everybody's allowed, you know, a tweet or two of just being kind of salty or crazy, but if consistently day in and day out, you see the writer for, like, let, let's say they decide to make a, I don't know, a, a brand new uh, Doc Samson comic. Why would they do this? I have no idea. But let's say they decide to make a, a Doc Samson comic. And they, they announce a creative team, and you go on Twitter, look up this creative team because you're huge. Doc Samson fan, and you immediately discover the creative team that they hired are batshit crazy, yelling at fans, accusing everything of being, you know, homophobic, or whatever happened. Just, 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 they're, they're on the rampage. Here's what you should do. One, you know, say a silent prayer for your character that you love, Doc Samson. Two, don't buy that book. Why would you buy that book? And three, block that creator. Seriously, get, block him. Block them long before they ever come to you. Block them. And you'll find a happier, you'll have a happier life. So to the original question, why do people hate Vita? I think those are the reasons. Again, are those good reasons? That's up to you. It's up to you. Not up to me. Not up to somebody else. Only you. Some of you will say, those sound like pretty uh, snowflake reasons. Okay. That's totally fine. That's your call to make. Some of you will say you didn't go far enough. You didn't talk about the fact that, uh, you know, old Vita there uh, regularly sacrifices puppy dogs to, you know, Vita's uh, lord and master, you know, Damamu. I, I, I don't, I, whatever, however you feel, it is yours to decide. And when I, if I say things like, but at the end of the day, maybe holding on to that kind of hate is bad for you, bad for your soul. You know, again, that, that's a mild suggestion. You can do whatever the hell you want. If you want to tell me, I, I don't hate Vita, but I want to call out all the unfair things that go on with Vita. Okay, again, cool. Roughly, you know, 100,000, you know, videos and blogs to beat you to it. I think everybody's, I think that's ground well covered at this point. It's like, uh, you know, people who are on the fence about whether to be a vegetarian or not? Nah, not really. You either like steak or you're, you're, you're out. <laughs> it's, it's it, it, you know, there's, there's not a lot of in between. It's kind of like where, where we're going with politics. The independent group has shrunk, shrunk, shrunk. Everybody's entrenched now. So there you have it. I don't know if these are fair reasons. I don't know if, uh, if you think I, I did not explain it well enough. I guarantee you there's going to be some people here who are like, Ah, screw you for talking about Vita. That's that you're playing into comic skate hands. I'll definitely get some of those. And there will be other people who say, "Oh, here's Perch being an apologist and saying how great Vita is, and that we're all the fans are stupid." Again, we'll get both of those. So, um, 
have at it, Cowboy, as Russell Wilson would say, let's ride right into a losing season. That's uh, that's what you get. That's what you get for leaving Seattle, you little bitch. Anyway, um, yeah, that's what I got. Thanks for listening.